this exercise is so great because we have a we have a trigger in the environment that pulls him to it something he wants to go towards which is the door he wants to go in the door and probably go somewhere near his brother that's usually where he wants to go so he's being pulled that way i see that as soon as he's being pulled that way i'm saying let's go this way and that's where you see the brain go malfunctioning and that's why he's here because he sees something he wants he hears you give an opposite direction and he struggles with submitting to the fact that he's going to give up what he wants and just listen to you but if you notice if you watch this once he commits to me you'll see when he commits to me he's like okay i'm here um he's not he's not committed when he comes to me and he looks back at the door and he's all on the door but when he finally is with me that's where he gets his praise good boy now the door could be anything the door is simply something that he wants to go towards that could have in the future become anything it could be a, a, a squirrel a cat a person a dog food toy it's anything that he wants to go towards so therefore this is a core issue this isn't this isn't just happening right now because he wants to go in that door it's anytime he wants something okay so he's trying to go independent 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 and i'm saying follow 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 break Woo, that's, that's essentially his issue Good, so he's getting his rewards. See, I'm rewarding him when he's like checking in. He's like, what do you want? He said to me just now, what do you want? And that's why I'm saying, that's what I want. I want you to ask me what I want. You, you know what I mean? I want you to have that what do you want question and prolong it for your whole life. Okay, not just for these three seconds here, but I want you to, I want you to live there. What does Josh want? Or what does my owner want? Okay, and we produce that through exercises like this, honestly. Good. Yes, baby. Oh, he's such a sweet. Now, his position's not perfect. We'll get there. We'll get there. First, we're going after his attitude. Good, good. He's trying, then he's getting rewarded right now. Good. We can clean that up, that position up, really easy with a dog who's trying. Dog is giving us attitude, though. It's going to feel like we're not getting anywhere. Good boy. You see the position's way off, but it's the mind I'm looking for right now. I didn't say anything to him, but boy, that's the mind I can work with. I can work with that mind. He's putting his desires aside and following. That's what we need. Oh my gosh. Now is that position, that heel position is kind of sloppy, but he was with me. Look, and he looks at me, go boy. Yes, I know. Okay. Break. Yeah, Good friends. Boy. You see the initial, the initial, I want to go to that door. It's all there in the body language. But he's being respectful because one of the underlying rules in our pack is that you don't go through thresholds without permission. You can't just pick up and go from this area to that area or through that door. If we're in a living room, we can't just go through a door and end up in another room without permission. So he looks at that door longfully. <laughs> and if I feel him really worrying about that door, we're going to get closer to the door to tempt him to make the mistake so that he can get the aversive. So therefore, it's off his mind. This is the kind of thing. So, because if he, if he wants to do it, it's on his mind. He won't do it though, because he understands that, I'll correct, that I can correct him, I can recall him, I can do all this stuff. So he kind of just sits here, but you can see he's telling you where he wants to go. Break. Yeah, and that's friend. why we decided to do it here. In this situation, good boy. If we do it in the field, not enough distractions for him. Not enough pull right here. Oh, I want to go back in there. Uh, my brother's in there. I want to go in there. And we're not working when we go in there. You know, I get to rest. I get to li lay on a dog bed, comfy with air conditioning and water and food. And you know, he got, he's got it made in there. I want to go back in there. Okay. Good. So I see that desire. I'm going to bring him closer to it. Come on, bro. Permission, remember. Okay. Little, see how I say we push the mistake out? If I take a step in there, it doesn't mean he, he's not in heel, so he can't just go through. Uh, and he knew. He, he, kind of, he kind of did one of these. Uh, but I showed it to him so that he could get a correction. He did get a correction there. And it takes the stress down. Oh, okay. We're not doing that right now. Okay. Okay. You, you can see he thought about it. So if, if I was the owner or the trainer, obviously, I am the trainer, 
I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna take this issue and I'm going to try to push it out of him in all the, all the aspects of his life, like coming out of the kennel or, 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 or rushing in the kennel or, or wherever I can find it, in and out of the house. I'm going after that little microcosm because that's a little bit of a push that he's pushing on the authority. He's going, he's, oh, he's really saying that. He's like practically right here saying, I know I can't go over that, but I really want to go over that. And that's what we call flirting with the boundary and that gets punished. So that's just a mental note when you start to see the pushiness, go after it. Is I would make uh, while we're tightening him up at home, I would go back to the old because there's two dogs, crate and rotate. Meaning you're working on when one dog's out, you're working on its behavior, and then when that dog's done, you put it back, take the other dog out, work on its behavior. So they're only out of the kennel when they're working on the things they struggle with um, until they're not struggling with them anymore, and then we integrate them back into life how they were before. So go home with the intention of doing your own board and train where the dogs are if you're not working with them they're in the kennel and that's that's the way to make sure this is efficient and that we make a few months down the road we, we know we have like maximum control our dogs are very reliable and we can integrate them back into life and that goes for the walks the walks should be one-on-one -on -one until there's no issues with them separately and go find it too if you're like well he's walking really good i can't find any issues go try to find them See what he might struggle with until you really feel like he's where he needs to be. Then you can start introducing the tandem hip heel again. Okay? Hey, and you know what? If it slips in the future, it's the same thing. It's going back to groundation for these dogs. It's back, or, the, or, or if just one slipping, then it's groundation for that dog. Where he's in the kennel unless he's being worked with. Period. Period, period, period. He's only coming out if he's being worked on. That's, that's how you get a good dog. That's how that, you get that done quick and efficient. Good boy. Doing real good. And that's what we do here. He only comes out for potty breaks, socials, and work. That's it. And, you know, all those are work. But the potties, he's got to behave. The social yard, he's got to behave, too. He's being monitored. He's being a good boy right now, though, aren't you? You certainly are, my man. Good boy. Yeah, good, yes. Come on, buddy. I know you got it. Come here. Yes, That's look it. at you. That's it, good boy. Look at you, huh? Good job, That's I saw it. that. Come on, come on, baby. Yeah. That's baby. it, baby. good you job. You are a good dog. That's yes, it. you are. Good. Who? Who's that my smart inch? boy? Who's my good boy? He's learning a little skill to back up and go behind the leg. Once he learns the successful option, and he's tried all the other ones. Hi, baby. Yes, he's a good Hi. boy. Hi. Hi. Yes, it is a good boy. Aww. That's my favorite guy. That's my boy. Good. Good. I'm so proud of you, Prince. I love you. Hi. Hi, honey. Hey, baby. Oh, you, you don't want to say hi to me? Yes, that's it. Aww. That's it. Baby. Okay. I'm so proud of you. So we're getting what we call successful reps. So he gets it. He's already had punishment for running up on Julie. So now he's learning the alternative behavior. Good. Hey, baby. So hi. he knows which one to choose. Hi. Good boy. Oh, hi. If I know I'm not supposed to do that. Good hi. boy. Hi. Good boy. Hi. Hi. Wow. Hi. Oh, I'm just getting him back here. Good boy. So he's trying to avoid her, which is great. But I don't want him to leave position and go over there to avoid her. Good boy. So I'm teaching him. Go ahead. Hey, baby. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Hi. That's it, baby. Hi. That's it. That's it. I'm teaching him. Just walk by. Believe it or not, it's that simple. Just walk by. Don't go up on her. Okay. Hi, Hi baby. Good. Hi. There it is. Hey. Okay. All right. And now he's looking at the door. The door. So again, what we're seeing is lack of commitment from friends. Lack of commitment. Lack. Of, if this was a loyalty test, he would lose. He would be failing. <laughs> and we'll talk about loyalty tests in another video because I think they're interesting. Good. Good. I, what I do like what's happening here is that we're getting a tremendous amount of progress because he's learning to find that position again. He keeps leaving it, but with correction, he finds it again. Hey. He was not able to do that two hey. weeks ago. Oh, do people talk to you like this? You big baby. I bet they do. 
said this in other videos, but it's worth mentioning. The reason why he wants to go forward a little bit is so that he can see everything. That's why they all don't like to be in the position I like them to be in, because they're slightly behind us, so that means they, they uh, the forward vision is taken away. They can't see everything, and they want to they see everything. They want to be involved in everything. They want to react to everything. So that's why he wants to be able to go in front. Once he accepts that I'm leading, it's all different. He's cool. He's fine with being back there. You see what I mean? He's behind me. He can't, when I'm in front of him, he can't see any of that over there. So he wants to naturally bring himself up here so he can start seeing where we're going. Right? I'm saying be in the back seat while we're driving. He's like, I want to be in the passenger seat. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. I want to be in the driver's seat. Starts grabbing the wheel, right? Starts telling me where to go. So we just put him in the back seat. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at you, good boy. Hey, baby. Hi, honey. Good boy. Hi, honey. Hey. Hey. Pets. Good dog, good boy. What a I'm baby. So proud of you. You're a good boy. Hi, baby. You're a proud boy. And I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Good boy. Hi, baby. Good job, honey. That's the best one so far. Hi, baby. Good job. Good job. Nice. Nice, Remedy. Good job. Good boy, honey. You're doing fantastic. 